In this movie, we're going to talk about Excel and Crystal reports, specifically preparing your reports for export to Excel. If you haven't already, go ahead and open up the support file, Rough Report Format 1.rpt. If there's one constant that ties my clients from diverse industries together is when they're using Crystal reports, when they export to Excel, especially dealing with canned reports, the format doesn't always translate. They have to spend lots of time cleaning it up or removing merged cells or deleting extra columns. You name it. They have to spend a lot of time formatting the data so then they can perform analysis or just formatting it so it looks good in Excel. The main thing to realize here is when you're creating the report and you intend for it to go to Excel, you have to prepare it to go to Excel. Now, there is a rumor flying around, and it may even be stated by knowledgeable crystal folks that they say, well, that's the way it is. It doesn't have to be that way. While the solution is not technically challenging, it will require some patience. There's a lot of formatting, a lot of aligning, but once you follow these simple steps and prepare your reports for an actual Excel export, you'll find that it works very, very well also saves you a lot of time on the format end, especially if you need to produce lots of reports in succession. You can't spend five minutes running the report and then another 45 minutes to an hour formatting it in Excel. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This is our rough report format one. When I've exported it to Excel, this is what it looks like. Notice this is just a basic report created from the report wizard. I really haven't done anything yet. I've let Crystal place it and determine field sizes and all that for me. The first thing I notice is my headers have been cut off. It's not office nam, it's office name. Same thing with last name. First name seemed to make it out okay. Middle nam got cut off again. Same thing with revenue I'm out and revenue dat. There's also a whole lot of spaces as we can see in between and then some spaces between the groups. Now if you have to do lots of analysis and slicing and dicing in Excel, those extra spaces and lines and so on really aren't going to help you that much. So let's go back to our crystal report and talk about preparation. Let's click on our design view. The first thing we want to do is we want to raise up the fields to the top of each section. Notice we might have a little problem with these guidelines here that prevent us from collapsing the section all the way, but simply highlight that and remove it. You want to make this design section almost mimic a grid in Excel, which means everything lines up and is very tight. Unfortunately, there's no automatic tool or button just to hit. You kind of have to spend the time and go through. Now keep in mind since this is destined for Excel I'm not terribly concerned with extra spaces in my group headers or footers or so on and so forth. So what we do here is we prepare the report meaning I drag everything up to the top line I remove any guidelines I see especially along the sides here. The ones that run vertical up and down I'm gonna leave in place because those will come in handy. Then you need to remove the rest of the horizontal guidelines if you will. To make this easy you can raise one field and say select all section objects right click on that main field that's the right and say align tops and it popped everything up for me exactly lined up. The key to this is lining everything up exactly. I do this for all my fields. Now notice down here some fields may be formatted a little bit differently with bars over the top and whatnot you'll probably have to remove those to get it to export cleanly. The second step of course is to align the sides. Notice on the left hand side my fields are already kind of red highlighted signifying that this field has already been aligned with the horizontal guidelines immediately to the left. What I'm going to do here is simply highlight all those fields by clicking and holding my mouse down, dragging my selection box straight up the top, and I'll put my mouse right on top. It turns to the right left arrow click and hold down and I'll drag it to the next one and now all sides are highlighted. I can do this for all my fields. This also helps with that naming convention we saw earlier where NAM was cut off. Observe. Oops made a mistake simple control Z notice all I'm doing here is lining up the left and right sizes I also need to get rid of that page footer because if it's in Excel I want Excel to define the pages for me this last one I can leave pretty much by itself although I am going to highlight it and increase the size a little bit so it appears before it was rev dat now it's rev date let's go ahead and take a look at our preview not too bad 
Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to section export this and I'm going to put a color and choose background color. From here I'm going to hit the export button and this time the option in this case is going to be Excel 97 2000. There's a data only option but it doesn't really help you with formatting the way this one does. I'm going to call this rough report format 1v2. Now notice it takes a little bit to export. Keep this in mind when you're exporting. Excel, most versions, aside from Excel 2007, have a record limit of around 65,000 rows. If you go over that, this will error out. In earlier versions of Crystals, it would send you an error but continue the count on the second worksheet. In the newer versions of Crystal, that pretty much stops. Now if we go to our desktop, and I go to my rough report format 2, it now pops it up. Notice I have my full complete field names as opposed to being cutting off. Now my revenue amount needs a little bit of work, but that can be easily corrected in the report. Notice I don't have any of those extra spaces in between my fields anymore. And I don't have any extra spaces on the row level either. This is what we mean by preparation of the report. Now this takes a little bit of work. It's a little bit trickier than it appears. But review the formatting lesson where we selected more than one objects and made sure that they were the same size. You can make sure they're the same height or the same width or whatever you need.